Okay, so now that we've achieved that, let's do the same exact process, but this time, let's do it in the uh, front view and the right view. So now what we're going to do is instead of taking a plan cut, we're going to do a section cut. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to divide out my clipping planes. Um, I'm going to name this cl clipping plane. I'm just going to put top at the end of it. And I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to call this one now clipping plane. And I'm going to go front. Just to have my clipping planes separated out from each other so I can turn them on and off when need be. So now I want to do a clipping plane in my front view. Actually, let's do it in the right view first. And before we do that, let's actually change the name of our right view to a more appropriate name for what we're trying to achieve here. So click right view and get in there nice and a good spot like that, let's say. And let's type the command name view. And let's save this right view and call it section one, one. And then I'm just going to keep the name right, right view and hit OK. Now that I've done that, I've created a new view for myself. So anytime, let's say if I get off that view for some reason or whatever, something happens, I can always go from, I can right click on the name here, go to set view, and go back to the one I just created, and it'll bring me right back to where I want to be. So now that I've achieved that, I have set up a view for myself. Let's actually make that clipping plane in this viewport. So I'm going to be on the right layer here, which is clipping plane front. And I'm going to change the color so it's not confused with the pipes. Do blue this time. And so make sure you have the section one right view selected. Do your clipping plane. And let's go ahead and just select it at the bottom. And let's drag it up over to the top. And you'll notice the model disappears. The reason why it disappears is if you look in top view, the clipping plane is way back here. And you notice that this clipping plane has a line. The direction that that line is facing is the direction that the clipping plane is taking. And since the clipping plane is on this side of the model, it's not visible. So if I select that clipping plane and I move it back, as soon as I touch the model, look what's going to happen in the right view. It's going to start to show up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to look for where I want to take my section from. So that's the whole model there. So I'm actually going to start from the beginning and look for a really nice area. And to me, that looks pretty good. So I'll open this up big so you can see sort of where I, I kept the plane. So it's doing a good job showing exterior and interior, right? And also a cut. So it's got a lot of interior information. It's got a lot of exterior information. And it's also got a really interesting looking cut. So those are the three major factors when you're taking a section cut, is that you're showing a good amount of interior, a good amount of exterior, and a good cut, most importantly. So, exactly. <laughs> so now that we've gotten our clipping plane taken care of in this view, just in case you moved out of this view somehow, make sure to reset your view to name to the correct one. And I'm going to hide my clipping plane. And I'm going to make 2D not full screen, but actually in its own small viewport. So I'm going to use a different directionality to, I'm going to use the top view to select the model. 
I'm going to click on right view and just to verify I'm going to go back to set one set it to the proper location that I created. Oh, it's in the right spot. So if it's in it's if it's in the exact same view that it was before, nothing should happen, right? If I were to zoom off a little bit and go set view and do that, it's going to take me right back to where I initially saved it. And now that that's taken care of, Something is not right here. Interesting, I did not know this. What? So, I did not know it did this. When you set the view and you change it, it actually got rid of the clipping mask. It like refreshed the viewport and the clipping mask stopped working. So, I just did control Z. I didn't know it did that actually. I thought that the clipping plane would remain. So that's kind of unfortunate that it does that. I did not know it did that. So that's something to keep in mind then. Then what you would do is set your view to where you want it and do a new clipping plane and put it in the exact same location as the current one. I'll show you. So let's say if my view is not in the right spot, I'm going to set the view. Okay, that happened. So now I'm going to do a new clipping plane. So you got to be on the right layer. Clipping plane. And I'm going to select the endpoint down there. And I'm just going to do, it doesn't have to be the entire size of it, but there, I just fixed it. And now I can select the one and uh, delete the old one. All right, anyways. So for the sake of making 2D, I'm going to hide the clipping plane. I'm going to select the object in top view because it's easy to select there and I don't have to zoom around in my view. Now I'm going to select the view I want to make 2D from, which is the section 1 right view, and I'm going to type make 2D. Now that that's done, I'm going to go into top view and analyze it and see what we got here. So it looks like it produced our result for us. Yes. Very cool. So I'm going to leave it just at one section for now. I think in the future I'm going to ask for more than one, but I would like you to do one first and then once you achieve that one, then if uh, all else fails, you can make another one. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna do one for now. And so I'm gonna select all my information and I'm gonna continue to move it 100 feet. And so thus far I've created a site plan or a top view. Site plans typically have a lot of context information this is just the model, so I'm just going to call it a top view. We've done a front and a right view elevation. We've also done a plan and a series of plan cuts. And then now we've done a section cut. 